What's going on guys, Crater here back for a new video. This is my review of the DX Go Buster O from Tokume Sentai Go Busters. Go Buster O is a prime Megazord for the core Go Buster team. It's a combination of all three buddy roids and the first three Buster vehicles combined with the command, combined operation, special mission, combination. In this Megazord form, all three Go Busters are controlling the Megazord despite them being separate cop picks. Go Buster O is armed with the Boost Buster Sword, which has pieces of RE03 and CB01 Sword. On its left arm is RE03's Helicopter Blades, which can create a force field to protect itself from damage. The finisher of Go Buster O is Dimension Crash, where the wheels and rear amplifiers of GT02 makes a field that paralyzes the Megazord in its tracks, then slashes it with the Inertron Power Boost Buster Sword. Now usually in the show, the way they'll go about going to the Megazord mode is each of them going to their respective Megazord mode. So that's exactly what we're going to do first. So I'm going to take GT02 and RA03 and put them on the side right now and just focus on this one. So what we're going to do is, just like in our previous video, transform him into Go Buster Ace. Uh, if you guys remember how to do it. We just simply do that. That legs up, legs up. There you go. Now you could detach that. Put this arm down. Put the sword upward. Switch it. Turn the arm and put the sword up. And left that leaf. And voila. Go Buster Ace is completed. And now let's transform GT02 Gorilla. Again, same thing as we did last time in our review. We we're going to be doing transformation. Put these to the side real quick. Break the apart. Flip these down, though they're not needed anymore. Now these are separated. You pull out the arms. Then they just, out of all of my fillers up, he's the most complicated one solely because it's just multiple pieces. So I'm gonna take this piece, find the corresponding piece, which is this one. And we are just going to put two to two together. We're going to put two to two together. Make sure these correspond. And boom. This part is done. Same on this side. Make sure they're corresponding. right there sometimes if I always get confused or which is which which is weird because like how do I get confused at this point as to <laughs> which ones they are it's kind of weird but you guys should be used to it at this point detach the head and then yeah let's always put him right here right there and you put that together halfway done last but not least put these back on make sure this is up put that peg in all right flip that up Flip this down, but flip this up. Alright. And last but not least, we are just simply going to insert it right there. And then in the back, make sure this is completely in. And with these facing up, boom, you have now have GT02 is now, let me get a better zoom in shot. GT02 is now completed. Last but not least is RE03 Rabbit. So, 
This is actually finally going to come into play. Basically what we would do is now put this down to form the legs. Switch out the... And then now we can just do this. And boom. Put this down right here. It'll just basically just be staying in position. As such as like a tail or some sorts. Put this in this form. Keep that up. Connect to respect the pigs right there. Oops. Make sure they're actually on. I think they're on. And you never know if they're actually on or not. Make sure it's actually in. And voila, you have the R H zero three. Rabbit is also now completed. Let's form the Megazord. Now it's finally time to form the Megazord and I'm just gonna go in order of their respective swords. So, um, Go Busters, you're first. First thing you're gonna do is detach the sword. Pretty much, he's already almost in halfway transformation. So you can detach that, take that out. Put that visor down. This is not needed anymore, basically. So, his arms won't be needed anymore in this transformation. You're gonna flip them this way, as respectively. And then you're just going to, boom. And voila, he's already halfway done the transformation. The rest of the body is with the other two Zords. So I'm just gonna set him to the side right there. GT02 Gorilla. Take this piece out. You're going to. Whoops. That was not even bit to come off. Ah, these are like so flimsy. That's my only issue with that. It's so flimsy. You're going to put these down. It'll burn, form like something like this. Take off his head. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> you're taking off his head. And now you're gonna turn it backwards, or upside down, I should say, and insert it. If I actually can. Basically, the same way you put on when he's just in his vehicle form, you're doing it like this, but instead it's just backwards. Separate these two again, but we're just gonna be putting them back together just in an alternate way make sure everything's down, you're gonna now set these things down this will pretty much form the legs of the Zord and now you will just simply put this together, I forgot which way sorry guys about that quick edit because I'm an idiot and I completely forgot which way it went but I found the right way, basically what you would do insert through it this way and then we'll connect it like so I can actually put the peg in there, there you go see could I man a idiot save it with this leg and we will just simply do the same thing with this one I'm saying simply but obviously I don't know what I'm doing Are the pegs in? I don't know. It looked like, okay, it was in. I will make sure they're tight because it could easily fall apart. Holy crap. GT2 is so complicated. Boom. The legs are four. As you can see, they're starting to get big. So, with his piece is complete, we will now shift the camera upward a little bit. Probably zoom out. It's about to be big, guys. Upwards a little bit, and now it's about to be big. We will now grab Go Buster Ace. Now insert him in his respective leg. Go 
connect. Make sure that one's connected. Glad my camera is on a stand because otherwise it would be kind of complicated doing this with just one hand now, wouldn't it? There you go. Whew. Got the legs part down. Boom. And now insert this chest piece. It just it just sits there. Allegedly, he has a big behind chest. Uh, and we will now grab the head of the cheetah and put it on the right side. As you can see, I clearly changed the camera angle due to the fact of how big this Zord is for my table. So, with that being said, we will now take re 3 Rabbit and now transform that, basically. This will come to play in a second. And so will this. We will now detach everything. Basically, we're just breaking her apart. This piece, we can actually do this right now. I would prefer put on last, but why not? We can now just put that right there because that's actually where it goes. We will now separate everything. Separate this, and separate these two. In terms of this thing, we will now slightly put it like that. And now we're just going to turn the Megazord around and insert it in the back. And it just sits there. If I could actually put it in there. That's what she said. There you go. Put that in the back. And now everything else we couldn't tell. She will be forming the arms. We will now flip this back and now bring out the arms, which are right here. Boom. One arm. Same thing. Flip this back. Arm number two. Sometimes I forget where the arms are. Go figure. <laughs> it's a complicated order. What do you expect? Arm number two. These two form the arms. I feel as though I'm putting them in the wrong spot. Oh, I know why. Because this is not even out yet. Flip it. Ah, see? Completely forgot. Failing on camera, guys. This is the right arm, or his left, my right. And you will basically insert it right here. Same thing, we will basically insert it right here. Now, remember when I said everything else would come into play, we only have these pieces left. Well, it turns out we're gonna start with this. I'm just gonna scrap around which I should go about first. This actually comes like a slicer or shield type thing, and we'll put it right here. I can see like a slicer thing. I call it like a slicer thing because I feel like it is. And now we'll get the sword. That's why I said, remember I said the sword is going to be so unproportioned? This is the exact reason why. Because now we're going to put it all thanks to her booster thing. And it helps form it even cooler looking sword, I just wish was better proportioned. That's my only gripe. We'll now insert it into this arm. And there's that. And last but not least, the thing that was always on RE03 is actually the helmet. And we will put it on as such. And now I present to you guys the combination a red, blue, and yellow buster Zords, which is the Go DX Go Buster O Mega Zord. Pretty cool. I like it. Obviously, it's big, which you want in Deluxe Mega Zord because it's super big. That made no sense what I just said. But um, yeah, I like it. People think it's like a cluster hell. It's unique, it looks different. I think it's pretty awesome. 
just overall just looking at it, it's pretty pretty cool looks like a transformer like every the one thing I think the one thing I mainly like in this Zord is that every single part of all their Zords are used nothing is left out even if it just sits there like for example the helmets of Cheetah, Rab, and Gorilla, they were all placed somewhere. So it's, it's actually pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. I would definitely say that. I like the slice if they can actually move this. Cool effect right there. Obviously the sword is obviously not proportioned right. Because you see how small that is. That's, like, that's literally my only gripe with that. Is that it's not really proportioned as well as I would like it to be, but hey, it's whatever. It actually comes off very cool in this camera. That's one reason why I like this camera. It actually comes off very, very cool. I can zoom in right now, and it actually comes off pretty, pretty nice. Zoom in on the face real quick. Very, very cool on the body and everything. I enjoy this Zord. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, articulation, you do 360. I wouldn't go above this because again, it kind of reveals the um, <laughs> other armor red busters, so I wouldn't put it up as such. Uh, so you do that. Due to transformation reasons, you can actually extend this out so you can have some type of more movement. See how that can extend out? It's only due to transformation that you can do that. Otherwise, that's it. You're not moving the legs, obviously. The legs aren't moving, so yeah. You can twirl this around if you want. Um, there's no point. Eh. Yeah, just a nice bulky Zord. How just how I like them. My first ever Mega Zord I actually got. It's funny because I'm like 21 and I have never gotten a Mega Zord until this year. A DX Mega Zord. I had the X figure ones. Uh, so now I'm starting to finally collect them, and that's pretty, pretty awesome. Overall, I enjoy it. I think, you know, this is my only DX Megazord. I think this is going to be one of my favorites up until I get the Lightspeed Rescue and then I'm going to be conflicted. Where it's like, because I always love the Lightspeed Rescue Zords or Go Go 5 in the Japanese version, I'm conflicted as to which Zords I actually like. And I really do enjoy this one. Um, overall, though, I think it's a pretty neat looking Zord. Um, I would definitely recommend it. They actually, surprisingly, I had no idea about this. They actually sold this, all three of them in a set. I just couldn't find it. When I found I found this out like last week, they actually found this. They actually have a set which has all three of these Zords you can buy. And boom, you have the Mega Zord. I had to buy Red Buster separately and, and Blue and Yellow in a set. But they literally have Red, Blue, and Yellow, both all three of their Zords in one set. And I literally had no idea that was the case at all. But that's fine, at least I have all three of them. That's all that matters. But overall, guys, I'll definitely recommend this. Um, in total, this Zord Kai pack costs you like around $100 for this Zord. I think it's worth it. Um, you can buy it on Amazon by buying a Red Buster, then you can buy a Blue Yellow Buster as a set. I know they sell that as a set. I looked it up, they still um, do have it as a set, so I would definitely recommend that. But otherwise, guys, thank you guys for watching today's review. Hey, was this really a review? I don't know. <laughs> of the DX Go Buster O from Tugway Setai Go Buster. I will be continuing the Go Buster line next time. I just don't, as of this video, I have no idea what I'm buying. I think I might buy the Beat and Stag Buster um, Morpher. That would make the most sense and then go with, along with their Zords. Otherwise, guys, if you like this video, we should that like button, comment down below, subscribe to see else on my channel. Otherwise, it's Crater. Starting off, catch you guys later. See ya.